2 Peter 1 verse 3. By His divine power, God has given us everything we need for living a godly life. We have received all of this by coming to know Him, the One who called us to Himself by means of His marvelous glory and excellence. Hello, Weirdos! I'm Pastor Darren. Welcome to the Church of the Undead. Here in the Church of the Undead, I can share ideas which are relevant to those who suffer with depression, need some encouragement, and for those who love or are just curious about the God of the Bible. And it doesn't matter if you are a weirdo in Christ or just a weirdo, everybody's welcome here at the Church of the Undead. And I use the word undead because here we are dead to sin and alive in Christ. If you want to join this weirdo congregation, just click that subscribe or follow button and visit us online at WeirdDarkness.com slash church. Full disclosure, I might use the term pastor because I've branded this feature as a church, but I do not have a theology degree, nor did I ever go to Bible college. I'm just a guy who gave his life to Christ in 1989 and has tried to walk the walk ever since and has stumbled a lot along the way. Because, like everybody else, I am an imperfect, heavily flawed human being. So please don't take what I say as gospel. Dig into God's Word yourself for confirmation, inspiration, and revelation. That being said, welcome to the Church of the Undead. You're not alone if you've ever thought, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not strong enough, I'm not enough. Every day we are bombarded with lies that try to convince us that we don't have what it takes to follow Jesus. Every time we mess up, our insecurities reach out and tell us that we'll always be weak, we'll never experience the freedom Jesus says we can have. But Scripture reminds us that it is Jesus' divine power that gives us everything we need to live a godly life. With His strength, when we fall down, we can still get back up. It is in our weakness that God's power is made perfect in us. 2 Corinthians 12, verse 9. By the power of Christ, nothing can keep its grip on us. Not fear, worry, doubt, defeat, discouragement, loneliness, hardship, or pain. Through Jesus, we have everything we need to combat anything that attempts to seize our rightful identity. God's Word is living, active, and sharper than any two-edged sword. It discerns the thoughts and intentions of our hearts. It was breathed out by God, and it corrects, teaches, and encourages us. God's Word lights up our paths. God's Word is filled with reminders of our true identity. It can remind you that you are enough because you are a child of God. John 1 verse 12 but to all who did receive Him, who believed in His name, He gave the right to become children of God. 1 John 3, verse 1. See what kind of love the Father has given to us, that we should be called children of God, and so we are. The reason why the world does not know us is that it did not know Him. Also, you can rejoice in suffering because Christ suffered for you. 1 Peter 4, verses 12-19. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice insofar as you share Christ's sufferings, that you may also rejoice and be glad when His glory is revealed. If you are insulted for the name of Christ, you are blessed because the Spirit of glory and of God rests upon you. But let none of you suffer as a murderer or a thief or an evildoer or as a meddler. Yet if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed." but let him glorify God in that name. For it is time for judgment to begin at the household of God, and if it begins with us, what will be the outcome of those who do not obey the gospel of God? And if the righteous is scarcely saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? Therefore, let those who suffer according to God's will entrust their souls to a faithful Creator while doing good. And James 1, verses 2-4. through Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness, and let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. 
God's Word can also remind us that you are greatly loved, and you can love others like you have been loved. John 15 verses 9-14 through 14 says, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. These things I have spoken to you, that my joy may be in you, and that your joy may be full. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. His word also reminds us that nothing can separate us from God's love. Romans 8 verses 37 through 39. No, in all things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am sure that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor rulers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor powers, nor height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord. When you understand who you are, that is when you will truly be able to do all things through Christ's strength. So let's start applying the life-giving truth we find in the Bible so that we move from victimhood to victory. Embrace who you are in Christ. And the next time a daunting situation comes up or a threatening thought comes to mind, remember, you can overcome it by Jesus' divine power working in and through you. You don't have to go through life on your own. And you weren't made to. So what are you going to take comfort in today? that you can rejoice in suffering because Christ suffered for you, that you're greatly loved by God, that you can love others like you've been loved, that nothing can separate you from God's love, or maybe all of the above. Here's a prayer for you. God, thank you for giving me everything I need to live a godly life. Because of your Spirit within me, I can have victory over every addiction fear, or sin that tries to hold me back. Thank you for being enough for me. I am so grateful that I get to know you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you like what you heard, share this episode with others who you think might also like it. Maybe the person you share it with will want to join this weirdo congregation too. To join this weirdo family yourself, find us on Facebook, listen to previous messages, even find out how to join me in my daily Bible studies, visit WeirdDarkness.com slash church. That's WeirdDarkness.com slash church. You can find the sources I used for this week's message in the show notes. I'm Darren Marlar. Thanks for joining me, weirdos, and until next time, Jesus loves you and so do I. God bless.